So what I'm gonna try to do is um basically what I did in this in this edit. Like this this uh timer map, but like just like only the timer map, not like all the shakes and stuff. But yeah. So wait. If I show it, I have it, I have it right here. So yeah, I'm gonna just uh, explain how I do this. So once you have like all your beats like marked and synced, you wanna kind of wanna imagine what the clip would look like in your head, like before you do the timer map. Like if you're a beginner, it might take you a little bit, but with like practice, you'll just get it down like really easily. So I have all my all my beats synced here and then i i know what movements i want so like i want her to slow down here where she does this movement right and then so this would be one keyframe and then i want her to slow down here and then i want to go fast here and then slow down over here like i'll i'll kind of explain this when i do the timer map so you want to add you want to add Twixie to your clip and then now for the input frame rate frame rate you want to match it with the with the fps you're editing in so i edited in 18 fps so i'll put it at 18 and then now for all the all the other settings you can just um copy mine and then now you just want to you just want to pre-compose this by pressing Control shift c i think now i want this to have like the normal motion right so i want to cut that so there's no timer map on this now i want the first frame of the clip to be this right so you want to enable timer mapping by pressing Control alt t i think so now for the keyframes um you want to make it like how you kind of imagined it right so I wanted to slow down over here on the first movement, right? So I want to make this keyframe over here. Like for your keyframes, you want to have the first keyframe be the start of your first movement or first clip. And the second keyframe, you want it to be the end of the first movement, right? And then third keyframe, if you're doing like a, if you're doing a clip like me where it's like, all chained together you want the third keyframe to be the start of the third clip or the second clips movement it's kind of confusing but like yeah so now I would want to put my keyframe my third keyframe over here so just mark it so just mark all your keyframes and then now this is where I want the movement to end of the second clip so I would put the keyframe here and then this is kind of this the intermediate movement of where the third clip is going. So I could just put a keyframe like here or something. And then I want her to slow down and then stop like over here. So yeah. And then now I want to put the last keyframe it will be this of at the end of the clip because it gives more like impact to your to your clips so you want to move this you want to move second keyframe like let me just remove this or hide this you want to move your second keyframe to nearing the end of the first clip you want to put this keyframe the third keyframe or the the first i guess you could say the first keyframe of the second clip at the start of the second clip right and then we'll put this here and then you just want to copy and paste this or like just repeat this over and over and then that's really how i like think about how i do my clips and then i put i put the last keyframe like not on the beat but like one frame before because i want my next clip to be like on the beat so now uh for graphing you want to highlight all of your keyframes. You want to play you want to press F9 on your keyboard and then to easy ease it. Now you want to go into your graph by pressing this. 
All right, for your graphs, what I like to do is just like make it smooth. So, so you want to manipulate your graphs so it goes fast and then slow. And then for this, it goes slow and then fast at the end of the clip. And then you would, you just want to repeat that over and over. Now this looks a little like like you see this, it looks a little fast. So what I like to do is just move this here. So there's, you can see a little bit more movement. And then it goes fast again. It goes fast and then slow again. And then for this, it goes fast. So it gives more impact to the end of the clip. So I don't really like how this looks for now, so I could change it. I feel like the it goes a little too fast here. So actually I could just like move this, right? And then I could put this keyframe where I want her to stop, like even further to the end of the key of the clip I mean. And then I can just change this so it acts like like this like um curve you know what i mean and i might make this a little bit more loose so i can show some more movement of the clip it's close to the chest. Close to the chest. now it still looks a little weird to me yeah i think she's moving a like like she's already moving back where this keyframe is so i'll make it run over here so now let's see and then now the the start of this clip looks a little fast to me so i can just move this here so there's more movement and then i can make this a little more looser the graph a little looser so I can show some more movement. Actually, make this like this. And then I can move this up to make the graph more tighter at the end. But yeah, that's basically just like how you manipulate your graphs and stuff to make your. To make your timer not so good. Yeah, it looks fine. Not exactly like the same as this clip, but it's very similar. And if I was going a little too fast here, um, when I was help helping my friend with like timer map, I made this graph, it's just like a template of what you want um, your graphs to look like. So wait, so this would be your second beat, this would be your first beat, and then yeah, this is kind of just like a reference of what your um, what your timer app graph uh, could look like, and then you can just manipulate your graphs to make it look uh, better. And then yeah, I add this last keyframe here, so there's more impact at the end of the clip, so I can just add like a radial blur um keyframe right here and then i could do some flicker flicker out so i could put this opacity like down and i could put this like this Wait. yeah and then i could add transform then scale it in a bit yeah. But yeah, that's basically how I do my timer map. Um, it will be hard at first. I mean, if you're a beginner, yeah, of course. But like, once you make a lot of edits and stuff, it will become easy. And yeah, that's basically it. See ya.